And that's where we begin tonight. Good evening, everyone. I am Bria Berry. The Jackson County prosecutor says there will be no charges in the shooting death of John Bartram. He's the founder of Jericho Home Improvements. KMBC 9's Peyton Hadley is live outside the courthouse downtown after talking with the sister. Peyton. And she says they're disappointed in how the case has been handled. She said she wants to see the evidence so they can have clarity and closure. If you're ready to remodel your kitchen or bathroom, now is the time to call Jericho. To Kansas City, John Bartram was the man behind Jericho Home Improvements. Have you ever heard of those remodeling horror stories? To his family, he was a hardworking big brother. He's just always the guy we looked up to. Now, his sister Nora Schwartz says they're left trying to figure out why he died. He's a family guy. He loved his children to death, and he would just be devastated that he is not going to be there to walk his sweet girls down the aisle and to take care of a son. Bartram was shot and killed at a BP gas station on 63rd and Prospect in January. Friday, Jackson County Prosecutor Gene Peters Baker announced there will be no charges in his death, citing a case of self-defense. Her office says evidence shows Bartram struggled with the man who shot him and tried to pull him from his car. A lot of us just simply don't have answers because we don't know the depth of it. Criminal defense attorney Gregory Watt has no connection to the case, but says everyone has a right to protect themselves. It's a question of whether or not it's justified. What were those circumstances that placed that man who used lethal force against this other individual. Schwartz says what little they know about the case is out of character for their big brother. We want to see the video. We want to see some actual evidence of what happened. John was not an aggressive person. He was the complete opposite. He had so much more to give to this world that we'll never see. As for why he was at that gas station at 63rd and Prospect just after midnight, his sister says his car had about 38 miles till empty and that it wasn't unusual for him to be out late. She said he had always been a night owl. Live in Kansas City, Peyton Headley, KNBC 9 News. All right, Peyton, thank you. We reached out to the prosecutor's office looking for a response to that statement from the family, and we are waiting to hear back. You can read more about Missouri's self-defense law right now at KNBC.com.